Hey folks, welcome back to the mountain. I'm Tony from Gagnon's Mountain Homestead. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, I know. We're, we're gonna work on that. So, it's been cold as of late. It's winter time here in New England. Um, I've been getting more into my welding as of late. Um, you can see I added on to the Harbor Freight little rack. I added another level so I have my welder up here and we have a plasma cutter now that's down here on this shelf. And up until now we've been using flux core on our welder and uh, we decided to move on to uh, shielded gas. So we're going to use MIG. I bought one out today and I got a tank of uh, 75, 25, 75% argon, 25% carbon dioxide. We're going to be hooking that up to our welder and see what the difference is. Um, so first, uh, before I change things around and show you how to do that, I'm going to go ahead and weld up a piece. Just so I get some mild steel over here. I've got a couple pieces that I've cleaned up nicely, as you can see. They're all nice and shiny. Just cheap mild steel. I'm going to weld that together. First with the flux core, and I've got another identical piece over here that I will then do using the shielded gas. And we'll see what the difference is between the two and see if it's really worth it. I think it is. Flux core is really dirty. There's the, the flux. And uh, it just, it's really dirty. A lot of cleanup, a lot of splatter. And I'm hoping not to get as much. With the, uh, um, with the gas. So let's go ahead and bulb that up real quick. Let's go ahead and get that welded up. All right, so there's our weld. Not too bad. Tony's getting a little, okay, I'm not great by any means. Don't get me wrong there. I'm not saying I'm a great welder. I'm not, but you know, it sticks. So we're gonna leave that just the way it is. We're not gonna clean it up at all till after we change over. Uh, and then we'll put the two welds side by side. It'll stay right there. It ain't going nowhere. Let's get that changed over. All right, so um, the gas is supposed to be cleaner than the flux core, so that's why I decided to go with gas. First thing you gotta do is get yourself a gas ball. I went with a 60 cubic foot. I'm leasing this ball instead of buying it to see if I like it. This is 75% argon, 25% carbon dioxide. So that's the first thing you gotta do is get yourself a tank. Now we gotta hook it up to our welder. Now your welder has to be able to accept gas, mine does, which is one of the reasons I bought this welder. I do have my instructions. So now we're going to uh, do what we can here. Briefly open the valve to clean it. See if that does. We're gonna lose all the gas, oh no. Okay, there's plenty of gas in it. All right, now we have our hose and our regulator. Our regulator came with it. It's right here in this box. Coupler. This is our regulator right here. It's a pretty nice looking regulator here. In there. Like so. Okay. It's tight. Attach the torch hose to the regulator outlet and tighten the connected snugly with a wrench. So this is our hose. And that's gonna go in here, thusly. And we're gonna tighten that one up snugly. Okay, that is tightened up snugly. Now it's gonna connect. Oh, you can't see it. 
put this on our cart like so, as you can see. And the cart comes with a chain. Yeah. Chain in there. Come on. And then we put some in here. keep that bottle from falling over. Next, the hose goes, the hose goes up here into the welder right there. And I know this because on the back of my welder it says gas inlet. I keep telling y'all I am a product of public education. I can read and I know some my gets into this. All right, we'll screw that in there, and we'll tighten that one up, just snug it, like so. So there's that. Now what we have to do, okay, we're going to turn on our gas. Now we're going to adjust our output. I'm going to put this at about, oh, 17 CFM. Okay. Now we're gonna, I've got it set here. I set my regulator, I'm at about 17 CFM. When I was in class, I was setting at about 15. They say between like 15 and 20 is good. So I set it to like 17. We'll just, we're gonna have to play with it and go from there, okay? So now, I'm gonna turn my rig around. Give me 48 years and I'll turn this rig around. Excuse me. Now the other thing you have to do when you're switching from flux core to uh, gas is your connections here have to be changed over, okay? Um, our ground clamps, because right now we're running a negative, we're going to switch over to positive or positive to negative. I know it's the other way around, that's all I know. So, we're going to take these two and swap them. This goes to my ground, right now that's on a positive. So we're doing a positive ground, we're going to move to a negative ground. So we're going to undo that, and undo this one, and we're just going to swap them. And that's it. Now we're ready to try out our gas. So we're going to get our welder ready, like just like we did before. We're going to hook our ground. Well, here's our gun. Oh, we got one more thing to do. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking. We got to change out the wire because uh, we got to get rid of the flux core wire and put it in the solid core. So we're going to do that too now. But you see how to change it over, and that was quick and easy. Um, I'm going to hook up my ground and everything anyway now, because I have to change over my wire. And we're going to show you that real quick too. I need to plug the machine in for that. And I didn't show you all, oops, dropped some metal. I didn't show you all, but we did put in a 220 outlet just for the welder, and now for the plasma cutter, it's under my bench. I'm going to plug my welder in now. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna cut the old wire. I'm gonna take that out. This is the flux core wire. We're gonna take that spool out. And we're gonna make sure that this is kind of crimped in there because otherwise it comes around and it just makes a mess in your Because if you let this unspool, then it's ruined. So we're just gonna tape it around there, hold it on. Come on! Because I don't, this is a brand new spool of flux core. I just put it on like yesterday, so I don't want to lose it. So I taped it up. All right, that's going to stay on there good. Now we'll pull the other end out of the gun. There it goes. It's all trash. 
All right, so a couple things we got to do since we're changing this spool. We're going to an 030 solid core wire. So one of the things we have to change is this knob right here, the one that drives the, uh, the wire. Because the one that's in there, if I can get it off, So there's two different types of spools. The one that's in there has little knurls in it. Hopefully you can see, I don't know. It's got little knurls that grab, there you go, that grab the flux core wire and pull it out. This one is a V-groove, and that's what we're going to use for the other wire. And it's got two different sizes. It's got 025 and 035. And we're using 030 and 035. So we put that in there. You know what? I'm going to leave this one right in here. It's a safe place for it. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put our wire in. Once again, you want to be careful taking this out because you don't want it to all unspool and ruin it. Alright, some silica. Now, the way this machine is set, you run the wire off the top through here. Oh, let's put this screw on so that thing doesn't come off. Okay, come through the tape. I don't know where the end of this wire is. Oh, look, they got a nice hole for it right there. Perfect. Perfect! Alright, we're going to hold it. I'm going to cut that end off. Okay, it goes on here. I only bought a two pound spool, make sure I want to stick with the uh, wire. I don't know if I'm going to want to stick with gas or not. Probably will as I get more into welding. So I'm going to go ahead and put that spool on like so. Tighten that up, but not too tight. It does have to be able to turn. Alright, so we're going to, it feeds through here. I'm going to see if I can get you closer to show you what I'm doing here. Oops, didn't mean to kick y'all. So we're going to feed that right through this. Like shoe. And then we got to get it through that little pitone right there. There it goes. Once that's through there, okay, now we're going to put this down, like so, down. Now this has a cold feed, this button right here, and that just feeds the wire through. I think I'm going to tighten that up a little more. And that feeds the wire through so it comes out the end of the torch. And there it is. And that's it. Clean up this tip a little bit. Cut that off. Put our nozzle back on. And our wire's coming out. That's good. Go ahead and close the door back up. Now we need to reset our welder to use the um, the gas. So we're going to reset. We're going to back up, back up. Okay, back up. We're going. Uh, let's see, stick tape setting. I think we want MIG steel C25, 75% argon, 25% CO2. 
Ooh, not 24 gauge. Uh, 12 gauge. Our diameter is 030. Right there, we can do 25, 30, 35. That's it. So we're doing 30, 12 gauge thickness, and there we go. Now I can hear gas. Yeah, I couldn't hear gas before because I didn't have that set up for gas. Now I do. So now we're going to make our first weld using gas. I'm so excited! Can you tell? I created this little meme here for a friend of mine and I really liked it so I put it up on the wall in my shop. So It's up on the wall in the garage. I really like it. It's gonna stay there. And uh, he kind of looks like me now. <laughs> All right, let's get that weld done, shall we? All right, now we're gonna do the weld using um, using gas with solid core wire. We're gonna do this the same way as the other one. All right, we have the same type of steel, the same sizes, every tip. We're gonna go ahead and clamp that together. Go ahead and weld it. I'm excited. I tell you, I'm excited to do this. All right, we got our hood on. Now we can pull it down, or we can be like the cool kids. How's that? Huh? Nice. All right, Let's weld this. All right, so we got all excited to weld. And we forgot to hook our ground strap up. We took our ground up. Okay, now that we're grounded, let's try that again. You can flip the hood down again. Okay, let's go. Wow. All right, the weld's not pretty. Um, but man, what a difference in the look. Holy condoli. Alright, so the weld's not pretty by any means. It's not even straight. I'm still learning to keep telling you folks. But wow, what a difference in welds. Woo! Let me show you something. So this one is the flux core, and that one there is the gas. Huge, huge difference between those two welds. Like I said, that one's not pretty, it's not very straight. But look at the difference in the quality of those two welds. That is unbelievable. Wow, man, wow. Let's clean this one up and see what we get. Alright folks, I tell you what, for my money, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, that's quite a difference. Um, I like the wire. I, li I like the gas a lot better. So yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue with our welding. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, a lot less messy. A lot less splatter. A lot less cleanup. It just looks so much better. So we're going to continue with that. Alright folks, so that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Now you can see the difference between flux core and uh, gas shielded MIG welding. I much prefer the gas shielded. Um, we'll see how much more this costs me uh, to do, but hopefully not too much more, but the quality is definitely there. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, and as always folks, 
God bless.